Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some potentially huge news for the drone world. The FAA's Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, or NPRM, for Beyond Visual Line of Sight, or BVLOS. This could fundamentally change how drones operate in the US, and it's something every drone pilot, whether you fly for fun or commercially, needs to know about. For years, BVLOS flights, drone flying without the pilot being able to see them directly, has been a major hurdle. Right now, most BVLOS operations require special waivers, which can be a slow and complex process. The FAA wants to change that, creating a framework for more widespread BVLOS flights for things like package delivery, infrastructure inspection, and all sorts of exciting applications. Now you might be asking, how exactly will all these BVLOS flights be approved? That was one of the first questions I had. The proposed rule suggests a two-tiered system. For lower risk operations, there will be a permit process expected to be faster and less stringent. For higher risk, more complex operations, a certification process will be required involving more robust safety management. In both cases, operators will need to submit detailed plans for their intended flight areas to the FAA, outlining boundaries, operational limits, and safety procedures. So this won't be apply once and you can fly anywhere. You're going to have to define it. Another key question is about staffing. Will every BVLOS flight need a whole team behind it? The short answer is uh, it depends. For those lower risk permitted operations, it's possible a single operator could manage a flight. However, for the higher risk certified operations, the FAA is proposing specific roles like an operations supervisor and a flight coordinator to ensure safety and compliance. Interestingly, those roles won't necessarily require a traditional pilot certificate, which could make things more accessible. Now, to make all those automated drones operate safely in the same airspace, the FAA is proposing the use of what they're calling Automated Data Service Providers, or ADSPs. Think of them as air traffic control for drones. This led to the next question, will you have to pay to use these services? And while the FAA hasn't set any specific fees, I think it's likely that ADSPs, being private companies providing a crucial service, will charge for their use. We'll have to wait and see. Up to now, Lance approvals have been handled for free, so maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a similar sort of thing. Finally, and perhaps most importantly for those of us already flying drones, how will all this new BVLOS traffic impact existing recreational and Part 107 pilots? With potentially many more drones in the sky, especially at lower altitudes, it's almost certain we'll see some changes and new restrictions. Approved BVLOS flights or corridors could become temporarily or permanently restricted for other drone activities. We'll need to be even more diligent about using airspace awareness apps to avoid conflicts with automated traffic. For Part 107 pilots, there will be increased reliance on these ADSPs, potentially requiring more detailed flight planning and even the possibility of flight delays or denials due to BVLOS priority traffic. The airspace is going to get busier and we'll all need to adapt to a more structured and managed low altitude environment. The proposed rule is a big step forward for the future of drone operations in the US. It has the potential to unlock incredible new possibilities. However, it's crucial that the FAA gets this right, ensuring that it's safe for everyone. That's why it's important for you to get informed and have your voice heard. The FAA will be accepting public comments on this proposed rule, and I believe the comment period is open until October. I'll put a link to the official FAA website in the description below so you can read the full NPRM and learn about the details. This is your chance to share your thoughts, concerns and suggestions with the FAA. Whether you're a recreational flyer worried about airspace access, or a Part 107 operator thinking about the future of commercial drone operations, your feedback matters. Make sure you take the time to understand the proposal and submit your comments before the deadline. Now, 
I'm no expert on this. There are a lot smarter people around that are going to analyze this over the coming weeks. So do stay tuned to those, but do make sure that your voice is heard. So what are your thoughts on the BVLOS proposed rule? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and fly safe.